Stick, stone, lonely, alone, a zero, a one, alone is no fun. Stick, stone, along comes pine cone, makes fun of stone, won't leave him alone. Vanish, says Stick, his word does the trick. Stone whispers, gee, you stuck up for me. That's just what sticks do. Friends do it too. Stick, stone, no longer alone. Stick, stone, a friendship has grown. They wander, explore, and spend time together more. Then thunder and rain, a loud hurricane. Stick is windblown. Hold on, calls out Stone. Again, he's alone. Search day, search night. No stick in sight. Stick, stick, stick. What's that? A huge puddle. Stick stuck in the muddle. Help. Stone rescues him quick. Curse. Boosh. You rock, says Stick. That's just what stones do. Best friendship rocks too. Stick. Stone. Together again. Stick. Stone, a perfect ten to the end. I'm sorry I needled you. Hi, I'm Sarah. Today we're telling stories outside. I use the story Stick and Stone by Beth Ferry. To tell this story, you need three things. Water, some objects from nature, and something to make a storm. From nature you need a stick, a stone, and a pine cone. But you can also tell other stories that you make up yourself. When you're outside, there are lots of things you could use. You could tell the story of a daisy planted in the ground watching everybody walk by on the sidewalk. Or you could tell the story of a leaf falling from the tree and blowing all different places. Before you go outside to get your stick and your stone or other objects, make sure you talk to an adult and make sure it's okay and safe for you to go outside. Walk around your neighborhood with an adult or look in your yard and look at all the different things you see. What could you use to tell a story? The nature is full of ideas. Bye.